Hello there folks and welcome to Chris Hall Motorcycles in Doncaster and welcome to our channel. What have I got for you today? I've got the rather lovely BMW R100 GS PD, i.e. Paris Dakar model. Um, absolute stunning looking bit of kit, some real nice extras on it as well. So without further ado, let's throw some facts and figures at you and get straight into it. So right, my hood's fallen down. Um, okay, so 1990. Um, currently showing uh, 45,400 miles on the clock. The, to be fair, the clock is actually in kilometres. Uh, German bike, originally. Uh, like I said, it's got some real nice extras on there. Uh, lots of documentation with the bike as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into this walk around. Check out the paperwork and we'll have a start up with this nice bike. Okay, and as always folks, we're going to start at the back of the bike. Um, so, I'm led to believe, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm incorrect, it's got the rather rare uh, tool case on the back. Uh, apparently these are few and far between. Um, something I certainly didn't know. Um, I've just had a, a gentleman come in who's a BMW, not an expert, but certainly knows his onions, uh, and he informs me that these are a, a bit rare. You don't see that many of them. Um, we've obviously got the panniers, the BMW panniers. Let's have a look at this rear tyre down here. Lots of life left on that. Yeah, that does not look that old actually, folks. Yeah, obviously gorgeous paint. The red and the white is absolutely gorgeous. The seat's in real nice condition. There's no rips, no tears that I can certainly feel on this bike at all. I've just spotted a little, little tiny mark just there. But we are dealing with a bike from 1990. So, um, yes. Uh, but yeah, a little tiny mark just there. Let's down, get down here and have a look at this drive shaft, etc. As you can see, all looking nice and clean. As we work our way forward, we've got the valve covers, the extra, like on the other side, there's a cap on the top to fill. They're an extra as well. But no, what a nice looking bit of kit. We've got engine bars up front. We've got the crash bars, we've got centre stand. Uh, I've undone this, this is obviously sat proud, just to show you, that's just a big storage area on this particular version. Uh, it's got two stage heated grips as well, that are working, by the way. We've got this slightly larger tinted screen, but what a lovely classic, you know this is where the, uh, kind of where it all starts, you've got the hand guards here as well, they're in good condition. The paint's really nice actually. Coming down to the front of the bike, again, really well looked after. But yeah, you've got these full wraparound bars around the headlight in this Paris Dakar version. Front tyre, yeah, quite a bit of life left in that, yeah, folks. Front wood guard's in good condition as well. And as we work our way around to this side of the bike, as you can see, the aftermarket valve cover with a oil cap just on the end there. Yeah, what a nice bit of kit. Down to the rear wheel here. Single-sided swing arm, of course. Looking very pretty. They are super popular, these R100 GSs. I've done quite a few of them in the last few months. In fact, I've still got, I'll just pan around slowly. I've got a 2000 mile one just there, folks. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. Yeah, 2,000 mile one there um, as well in the showroom. So, yeah, we do have more than one. This is the only Paris Dakar one, though, I've had recently. So, paperwork-wise, yeah, owner's manual service book, lots of bump, spare keys, lots of stuff going on there with this bike. Uh, let's just have a cheeky start-up. Uh, is that... Ooh, there we go. Didn't turn the key far enough. Let me just swap hands with my... Uh, here we go. There we go. I think we're about to run out of fuel. I think he's about to run out of fuel, that. Just 
just, yeah, lovely. It's found itself. I know it is low on fuel though, folks. There you go. All day long. I'll turn that off. But no, that's sweet isn't it, that folks. Oh, full stainless exhaust as well. Almost forgot, because I think these were quite prone when they were new uh, for the exhaust to rot, I think. Um, a bit before my, slightly before my time in some respects, but uh, never really paid that much attention to these back in the day. Um, so, there we have it folks. That's the 1990 uh, BMW R100 GSPD. Uh, the bike will be supplied with a full MOT, it will also go through the workshop for a full check over and it will come with a warranty with ourselves. Um, I can offer zero, no, I can offer finance on this vehicle, I can't offer zero deposit finance because of its age, but I can offer finance on this vehicle up to four years. I can also offer nationwide or international delivery and we would consider a part exchange as well. I think that's a nice looking bike. So if you'd like to know a little bit more, oh, if you want to know how much this particular bike is, there is a price in the description below along with a, um, a link to our website uh, where you'll find this bike with at least a dozen or more high definition photos so you can have a bit of a closer look at your leisure. If you've got any other questions on this bike or any of our others, don't hesitate, give me a call 01302 760 967 or you can email me, Chris Hall Motorcycles at googlemail.com Alternatively folks, if you want to come down and look at this bike in person you're more than welcome and as always guys, uh, if you want to, yeah as always, it's the first video of the day you have to excuse me, as always if you're coming down to look at something just give me a call before you set off to make sure that the bike is in stock and available um, I feel like I should go home now uh, Anyway, other than that, folks, I'm going to sign off. Before I do, don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tick that bell for notifications. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I've got a load more bikes for you later today. What a hash. I feel like I should do this video again. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you're passing Doncaster, don't forget, the kettle is usually on. Pop in, come and have a brew with us. Have a good day, and I hope to see you all very soon. Cheers.